Since the inception of the first computers, there has been a direct comparison between these computational machines and the human brain. Why should we compare these two things? Is our brain is more superior than a supercomputer? Is human brain the most powerful thing in this universe? Let's find out. As of November 2018, the fastest supercomputers is the summit, in the United States, with a computing power 143.5 petaflops. A petaflop is a quadrillion or 1,000 trillion calculations per second. That a huge amount of calculations, and yet, that does not even come close to the processing speed of the human brain. Although it is impossible to precisely calculate, it is postulated that the human brain operates at one exaflop, which is equivalent to a billion billion calculations per second or thousand petaflops. Well to visualize how big that number is. It would take all the supercomputers in today's world to achieve or break that one exaflop limit. The most accurate simulation of the human brain to date, has been carried out in a Japanese supercomputer, with a single second worth of activity, from just 1% of the complex organ, taking one of the world most powerful supercomputer, 40 minutes to calculate. Researchers used the K supercomputer in Japan, to simulate human brain activity. The computer has 705,024 processor cores and 1.4 million GB of RAM but still took 40 minutes to crunch the data for just one second of brain activity. One of the things that truly sets brains apart, aside from their clear advantage in raw computing power, is the flexibility that it displays. Essentially, the human brain can rewire itself, a feat more formally known as neuroplasticity. Neurons are able to disconnect and reconnect with others, and even change in their basic features, something that a carefully constructed computer cannot do. It runs with just the program programmed in it. Not able to reprogram itself. Well it is difficult to compare supercomputers in a human brain. Our brains weighs just 3 pounds covering a small space, but a supercomputer such as the Summit, which occupies 5,600 square feet of space and weighs over 340 tons. The same calculations and processes that might take a computer a few million steps, can be achieved by a few hundred neuron transmissions, requiring far less energy and performing at a far greater efficiency. The amount of energy required to power computations by the world fastest supercomputer would be enough to power a giant building. The human brain achieves the same processing speeds from the same energy as is required to charge a dim light bulb. Biological processes have had billions of years to evolve perfect, efficient organs that far supersede technology, and we are beginning to reach those artificial limits. Our brain will certainly remain the most powerful supercomputer until some crazy scientist builds a giant city-sized computer, with immense computing power. Till then our brain is the absolute leader.